What's happening, fam? L.A. Y'all movement still moving. The book is entitled Lessons from a Non-Custodial Father at Amazon and Kindle and Create Space. Uh, link will be in the description box below, as usual. I was going to make a video about struggle queens. I don't know if I'm going to do it still or not. But I decided, to, to, because of the last video, um, I'm going to make a video entitled The Parental Gender War. You know, we all, we've been talking about, we had the gender war thing going on for a minute on YouTube, right? But I never, I, I have to think about it in this way. The gender war is about, uh, more important, we're, as adults, it's not as important when it comes to raising children. Because adults can figure things out. But the gender war affects children more so than anybody. And this is, I think one of the major riffs about it because when you have two different ideologies at war with each other about what's right and what's wrong not only does it play out what's right and what's wrong in the life of the people and the life of the men and women to, to be played out in time to see who actually was right about what particular thing who was wrong What's worse is it plays out in their children. And and I've, I've talked about this before, and I'm adamant about this. You know, this is why people have a, a, a big riff after the fact of getting along, because what ends up happening is when the children suffer, fathers and men feel like it's too late to fix them. Because... In some ways, we feel like it's uh, depending on who you're talking about or what kid you're talking about, they might already be programmed to be self-destructive or, or self-sabotaging. In the sense of just being rebellious out of you as a, a man and a father because they were taught that, right? They got to get out of that before you can actually teach them. That's why you say people are far too far gone. And I think the, di the, the beef with the mothers is when they, when they come to find out that what they've done is wrong... As far as far as their kids are not well adjusted to reality, life, and society, then the mothers who and women walk off the same way they say these deadbeat dads walk off, and just leave these kids as young adults or grown adults to pick up the pieces, knowing that they were sav that they that they gave them this messed up puzzle. And they, they had them put together this puzzle in a backwards fashion in the first place. So now it, it, the gender war is more of a parental thing because in the midst, you got these young kids growing to be teenagers, uh, young adults and adults who are having kids while coping with being raised wrong. And now, as they used to say back in the day, you got these babies having babies. Even if they're, if, if they're by age grown, they're still in the rest of development mentally. So they're babies, mentally having babies. And then they're teaching bad habits to these babies. And these babies see these things as normal. And I, and I remember seeing this when, um, and I use this as an example, um, like for myself. Like when my parents see my child and they see, they'll tell me you're too hard on your son. I'm like, no, I'm not. I got I, is a, these certain things got to be corrected, or he's got to know that there's a that there's a, a a pushback toward this type of ideology and behavior. He can't I can't just let him walk around thinking that you know uh, negative behavior. Is, is acceptable and is reasonable and, is, and people are going to excuse it because it's not going to be rewarded with anything positive. And I gotta just let, you got to let that go. And then what happens is when his negative behavior affects them, then it's like, you got to get this boy. <laughs> I'm like, shut up. I already told you that. That's why I'm on his ass. Um, but they also see... The negative things that they had, they tried to teach me and taught me when I was a kid manifest in him because they see how he would, what was a norm 
for me, as their now that they're uh, grandparents, they now they see it differently. When they were kids and they were doing things around me as a kid, it's like this is why I didn't, you know, agree with both of my parents when I hit a certain age. You know, I, that's why I, t to this day I don't believe you out here. You should be smoking weed and doing cocaine in front of your kids and living and and, and bringing a party lifestyle and to your home in front of your kids or or having uh these abusive relationships in front of your kids or um or playing out or using the opposite sex as your doormat or or who you take out your frustrations with in life to set them off and play the victim you shouldn't be doing stuff like that in front of your kids because all of the dysfunction that comes out of that as a child you think is normal right and then you know when you grow out of that your, your children think it's normal like me i'm comfortable in chaos like other people I look at people like they're crazy, and I know it might sound crazy, but if something really goes down and goes left and people are all shocked, I'm looking like, man, if you don't sit down, so what? It's a shootout. Shut the fuck up. All this damn screaming. It was, oh, men and women are fighting? So what? Who gives a shit? You know? The baby's crying because the parents going at it. Eh, shit. No, shit. I was crying when I was that age, and they was doing way worse. They was pulling out guns and knives on each other. What the fuck? The baby gonna get over? <laughs> that's wrong. I'm just saying that's wrong. But you know, I just say that, that that'll be like my demeanor, like because a lot of people don't realize, um, like my parents to this day, I have a harshness about me that even though my parents have grown up and out of their situations somewhat. Uh, because they had me as teenagers, so, you know, parents to a teenage parent, shotgun wedding type thing, right? Um, because I was in the household with them and their shenanigans. Now that they are all grown up and old and they think, oh, that's the past. And, yeah, let that go. Let go and let go. Like, yo, that's my norm. All this shit that y'all talking now and y'all doing now and y'all trying to act like y'all calm and cool and collected now. <laughs> I ain't trying to hear that shit. That, that's your norm now. I wasn't raised in your norm now. I was raised in your dysfunctional norm then. You know, and and that's the problem. And, you know, same thing with the, with the father aspect, I could say. Uh, my father was one of those guys who let, you know, who, who, who had the baby mama drama and my mother up and moving and leaving and dipping and dabbling and, you know, doing all kinds, of, you know, setting him off, even though he was a bully to begin with. Don't get it twisted, you know, but he was one of the, but when my grandmother would do things, he would take credit for it. His mother would do stuff. Oh, you, the family, you know, I did it for you because my mama did it, which is some fuck boy shit. You know, my grandmother's been dead probably 10 years, and my dad to this day still, I don't know how to wash dishes because my mama. Nigga, you've been married three times. I don't want to hear your mama. You what? You le you left the house at 18, motherfucker. You, you, you damn near 60. Still talking about what your mama did the dishes. Don't nobody want to hear that shit. Just saying. But I was raised by, but, and on the flip side, uh, with my mother. I was really raised by, as a kid, I was raised by her mother. You know what I'm saying? So, and my granddad had a stroke, so, but I still got love for my granddad uh, and my grandmother. Um, but so I, so the trope of have, being in the house with a mom because you're in the house with the mother, you're more protected, but you know, I'm one of them kids that really wasn't raised by my mother either. Just because my mother had custody doesn't mean that I was raised by her. And there's a lot of people like me who your, your mother had custody, but she wasn't raised by your mother. You was raised by your, 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 your grandparents or your aunt or your uncle or, or older cousin or older sibling, you know? So that's the parental gender war because now you got these kids uh, fending for themselves and men and women as they're growing and interacting and becoming young men and young women, they have this animosity towards the opposite sex because, you know, you got, you know, the men teaching, the, 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 telling the boys at least the, that, you know, it's okay to have multiple women and, and, and be a player 
absent of the fact you don't keep it 100 with them. You know, so now you got these guys thinking that, that having multiple women is the thing to do and cheating is the thing to do without just keeping them 100 and say, baby girl, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm single, but I'm not exclusively with you. I got other women and let, and let these women choose. So, so you got these, these men who are telling these guys to take away a woman's choice in that way, which is some sucker shit, you know. And then on the flip side, you got these women teaching these young girls, you know, every man is your enemy, and but at the same time, use them for everything they got. And now you got these young women out here using guys for no, being an enemy towards, towards young boys because it starts at a young age. To, 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 to be adversarial toward these young boys who did nothing to them. So then they, they practice at being a bitch. I'm sorry to say it like that. And in and, and, and the, and the goal, they're going to use guys and just think it's cool. And then you have this clash when people are able to be adults and they're able to be free and they're able to really speak their minds and, 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 um, and, um, and exude their own internal power. Like, I ain't playing these games with you. And now you got these clashing dysfunctional ideologies and they stem back to a parental gender war. Like, you know, you got parents saying, look, that's, this is right, that's wrong. And you got, you know, f fathers who are or not in the household or are in the household having a clash with mothers. Like, look, just because this makes you feel comfortable and it feels safe and it feels at the moment this is going to destroy our child in the future, I'm not feeling that. That's dead ass wrong. And then you got the, but I'm a mother and I know what I'm doing and this works and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to create a scene and, 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 and if it falls apart, I'm going to blame you. And then you got the vice versa where, some, where, where, where women who are, who are good mothers are, are say, look, I know what you're trying to do. I get what you're trying to do, but you got to let me handle this. I'm telling you, I, what, what I'm going to do doesn't seem like it's going to work in the beginning, but in the end, it's going to work. And then the guy's like, I ain't feeling that shit. That's bullshit. And then they undermine the mother doing that, right? And then they find out the mother's right. Like, that happens also. So you can't, I can't leave that out. Um, and what, what winds up happening is the parental gender war is really a, a matter of who's the more intelligent person when it comes to foresight. Because what winds up happening is you have one parent who's thinking short term and one parent who's thinking long term. Normally the parent who's thinking long term is right. That's why guys will say that guys are right a lot of times because most of the guys are thinking long term and most of the mothers are thinking short term. But when a, when a mother thinks long term, she's right too. Okay? And then when you see these fathers thinking short term, they're dead ass wrong too. You know? And they do the same thing as when, uh, you know what I'm saying? Well, you know, uh, well, you know, it was just a, a, a impulsive thing we was doing. It's just a moment. And it's the same deadbeat dad, deadbeat mom scenario. And I think what winds up happening is um, it creates this, 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 this problem. And why I used to make talk about every now and then those Fix My Life Ayanna Van Zant shows was because what, was, what would never be addressed is the parental gender war instead of just, you know, all they would do is blame dad. And, and when, knowing that things were mom's fault, since the kids were grown, it was allowing mothers to be deadbeat mothers and walk away from the responsibility that you crippled your kid with your bullshit. And you used your, the, the, the ex-husband or, or a dead father or, or a deadbeat dad stereotype trope as a scapegoat to fucking up your kid. And the problem with that was, and I, I wrote this in my book, the kids grow up and become adults. They learn the difference of, you know, and even, and that's what they will have this, you can see the energy with them and Ayana like, bitch, you know, I know this ain't all about my daddy. You just can't, my mother just can't, can't, I, don't talk to your mother like that. And we, we get that issue. Like, don't talk to your mother like that. But cuss your daddy out. Like, no, sometimes you got to get that shit off your chest to both parents. Because, you know, that's the whole thing with, with um, we going through the same issue, especially with men with women. We don't think women are, are responsible people. 
because guess what? They never held to a standard of responsibility. So now when we're meeting women who are in our age groups and who are dated, but we look at them as children and we're dismissive to them because we look at the group of them as y'all, y'all bullshit. And then the women been taught that we're beneath them and we're not smart and we're not this and we're not that. So they try to treat us like children and, you know, dismiss us. And, you know, you're beneath us. You don't know what you're talking about or doing because you're just a man. So, you know, I think the gender war really has roots in the parental part of it. You know, maybe I'll talk about some more of this later on another time. But 15 minutes, man. Damn, I'm out. <laughs>